Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, and then um, we up first vlog. This is extremely, extremely weird because I've never done these types of videos. Always been sitting down here. I don't know if you can see the desk. Yeah, you can. So, um, a new style, new type of video. Um, it's quite weird for me to be able to look at myself two times here. So, gotta get used to that. But it's been snowing quite heavily here in Denmark tonight so obviously that's not nice so I'm gonna take you guys with me today and um, just started up the computer got myself a cup of coffee here homemade cup um, and then I usually also have just like a bottle of water with yeah some electrolytes so um yeah plan of action today is to Get the work done i usually wake up at nine um i like it better um i like to go to bed at like one in the night i think it's called um wake up later get like the sleep i need um and then just work till i hit the gym at around one two ish um so today got a few tasks ahead um we got some meds hats that needs to be done for a client I got some Snapchat ads that needs to be done for another client. And then at one, I have a weekly team call with the course that I'm with. Um, so yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys a few of the tasks ahead. Gonna show you guys how I do them. Gonna show you guys, yeah, pretty much everything that goes into to the day. And then we're gonna go to the gym likely. Um, probably gonna hit some legs. I need to make sure that my legs are strong because i've been running for the past three days as you know if you watched the previous video i'm doing a half marathon so i'll make sure to yeah also take some time off because my calves are sore as fuck it's incredible so um yeah i'm gonna stop the recording i'm gonna get back to you guys whenever um there's something to to show so um yeah stay tuned so first client first few changes being done first thing needed to do a report of the year and as you can see here we've spent 241,000 for this client and then um, if we go over here we can see the revenue here you go 1.2 mil with a combined progress on 4.95 up here you can see so um yeah pretty decent for for this client um been working with them for some time now so always nice to beat previous year but um yeah just wanted to essentially show you guys a few of the insights Um, gonna install a new meta setup for them because we just got done with our boxing week offer um so gotta install something new and fresh so i'm gonna get that done and then um, i'll talk to you guys soon so just got done with around three and a half hours of um of work and just took around 30 minutes to essentially do the first meal so here we have some chicken some pasta and some pesto and then i'm just drinking one of these it's kind of like an energy drink with you know caffeine eaa vitamin b6 and b12 normally have these just before the gym just to you know make sure i'm hydrated and um, then in 20 minutes we have the team call after the team call we're going to go to the gym after the gym gonna see how the weather is i'm not sure if we're going to go for a run um perhaps if not we're just gonna jump in the ice bath um i always do ice bath after gym and run um and then just got some more work to do um gonna grab some dinner and then go to the warehouse to pack some orders for the econ brand that i own as well so um yeah i think that's pretty much it just um let's get the get this food down and let's go to the gym finally done with the team call one hour and 30 minutes so a lot of things going on with this specific um client we are really in a position where we want to try a lot of different things, but obviously things takes time. So it's more of a development, finding out what to do, how to do it, when to do it, what kind of ways to do it. 
um, and therefore it leaves these you can call it long ass meetings but they're very very productive we get a lot of different things out of them we really really come up with a lot of solutions to try different things um, right now i am just finishing up the snapchat ads and um, they're going to go live from tomorrow um, and um, now it's i think it's time for a break and um, usually after like five six hours in here i want to take a break want to get out so going to go to the gym come back do the ice bath and um, then i'm likely going to do a bit more work um, before i get some dinner and after dinner going to go to the storage the warehouse um, pack a few orders and then come back home do the last bit of work and then yeah basically just uh, just call it a day so i'm going to jump on the bike it's um it's all right weather not snowing or raining so um yeah gonna be um gonna be fine let's see what we end up hitting because my legs is absolutely killing me after last few days of running um but yeah still gotta do what you gotta do um and um if there's one thing that you need to understand if you want to do anything in life or you want to achieve something you, you sometimes there's there's really no rest um and i'm gonna jump on the bike see kind of how the roads are and if the roads is fine i'm going to go for a run after the gym as well because yeah i need to to get those miles in i need to build up my endurance otherwise 21.1 kilometers is never gonna happen for me so um yeah I am going to shut this down, jump in the clothes, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys um, when we get to the gym. Back home from the gym, um, quite weird, weird session. Um, I don't know, just, yeah, it wasn't really there. Um, weather is very, very bad. Road is very, very bad. And it would be a ideal day to skip running. Um, Actually, the news is also telling people not to go out, but sometimes you have to do what you don't want to do. Um, there's one thing I'm not looking forward to right now, it's running. If there's one thing more I'm not looking to forward to right now, it's going in the ice bath. And yet both of them I know I need to do because otherwise I'm not going to be able to run a marathon or half a marathon. So we are going to essentially jump in the running suit and um, go run i don't know how long i'll have to wait and see there's a spot like i think 800 meters from my home where they've actually cleared the road so i'm actually able to run on like pure road but i'm not sure how many places they've done it so i'm gonna just have to go out and see and um, then i'll um, essentially yeah wait and see what we can do so just need to power up my phone a bit and um then i'll uh, i'll see you guys when we are essentially going out for the run so um yeah stay tuned guys in the running suit so i've got like a blouse under and then this one out and then yeah just some pants that's sitting really fucking tight and then the shoes here so the plan of action is to just go out, see how bad it is, and then I'll have to see how far the round with actual road is. Because the last few days, so the day before yesterday, I did, I believe it was 4K. Yeah, um, so Monday 4K, Tuesday 4K. And yesterday it was so windy um i did four no 3.3 um so the goal with this running is really just to build myself up to being able to run like i think 18k building it up to like doing 18k 18 kilometers sorry so going to just slowly build it up without my main problem is that I tore my right knee when I was skiing like five, six years ago. So I don't want to over train um, because 
it could end up messing it up and i do have a deadline before the end of january so i do have quite some time this lighting is not very good but yeah so i do have a deadline and it's not that much time until i need to do the run so if i end up like over training and over running i could end up touring up my knee again which is not what i want so i just want to make sure that i'm always moving because then it kind of just soreness it's not like a muscle that's fucked up so yeah that's why i just run every day because yeah and then hopefully one day i just feel very very good and then hopefully i can do 21 kilometers that day but um the longest i've ran is eight kilometers um back when i played like football on a high level so yeah we're going to go out the front door right there going to run and then um, come back go in the ice bath and then probably got some more work that needs to be done so so let me just put on my hat here and here and this one there we go so i always use this outside so my throat is like not getting cold then my own company's hat and then these and of course you cannot forget the outputs so um yeah i'm going to um yeah run and uh, i'll pick up the camera probably when i've done like maybe running for 10 minutes or something when i'm at a point where there's road and i don't need to focus on not falling so see you guys um on the road so 10 minutes in and this is the conditions i basically can't run because it's just ice so i'm just like skating around and doing like almost not jogging but like skating around basically um it's hard to like put my feet on it because my feet will just slip so yeah um i've been going for like 10 minutes and uh yeah just gotta get this done because actually not that fun so yeah two and a half kilometers to go and uh, then i'll see you in the ice bath done with the run now just need to jump in the ice bath just standing right here need to go in and change and then yeah get in this one there's already the pieces of ice in it I am not not looking forward to this, but remember, because I'm not gonna do this, then there's more things I'm not gonna do. We can't have that. So see you in the ice bath. Here we are outside. Have to jump in. This is fucking cold. Holy shit! It is cold. <laughs> doing this get started boys this is this is how you build mentality this is how you build discipline and there's like pieces of ice we've been here for 40 seconds now just like that you've done what you need to do for the day and you can see on the camera i'm shaking like fucking ass done with the run done with training done with ice bath just been in a shower and shaving up everything so now it's time to eat and this is my favorite meal of the day big bowl of oats gonna eat this up and then go to the warehouse here at the office um just sitting here at the computer so gonna print out the labels and everything and then we're gonna get these orders packed so this should take probably an hour maybe an hour and a half I'm gonna go home after that grab some dinner and do the last bit of work and um, i got 
a bed that needs to be placed as well as um, as some Facebook ads that needs to be done as well. Finally done at the warehouse. You can see all the packages here. Now just gotta lock the place up, get to the local supermarket and deliver the packages. So to those who don't know, I am running a e-com brand with two of my mates here in Denmark. We've been doing it for a year now. Um, and it's quite funny to have your own place with your own product, so to say. Um, there's obviously benefits. There's also things that are not that funny, such as needing to pack a lot of things almost every single day. Um, but it is very, very funny. Um, packing things means money and money means freedom and freedom means a happy life in my opinion probably gonna get to bed late but that's pretty normal to be honest that's why we wake up in the morning and not that's why we wake up later than others is because we work later uh, that means you also yeah probably gotta get some sleep so yeah i don't know i'm just waffling um it's been quite a fun experience to just talk to a camera and i still can't hold this camera the right way i still don't know where to look um and i still don't know if this is interesting at all but for me it's funny i actually like it i think it's a it's a funny way to document yeah basically what's going on in my life so yeah that's um that's pretty much it let's uh, get in the car just got done in the supermarket um it's always funny to go in there because obviously we come with quite a lot of packages over the time and it just shows that the young generation don't really believe it's possible because every time we come with like let's say 10 packages the guy behind the bar is absolutely going bananas like he can't believe how many packages we're coming with he can't believe how much money we're making and in the end we just we end up having people where the young generation they just they don't really know what's possible even though they see it all the time like we come with packages every single day and he doesn't ask how we do it the only thing he has asked is how much money do we make and do we pay taxes and no disrespect to the guy because he's working a lot but it's like it shows what generation we're living in and if you're young watching this and you don't really know what you want to do with your life you're working in a local supermarket or whatever like the worst thing you can do is just do nothing like i have friends they're like oh i don't want to work my job oh i don't want this and that and then i'm like okay then quit and then do something and they're like oh no but i need safety i need i need to ha make money before i can do that Yes, of course, it's going to be weird. It's going to be scary. It's going to be all these things. But it's like, what's the worst thing that can happen? The worst thing that can happen is that you it doesn't work out and you have to go back to your job. And then it's like, well, the best thing that can happen is that it works out and you never have to work a job. But it's like, people are so afraid of failing. They're so afraid of quitting. They're so afraid of all these things where it's like, Bro, the, the, the thing you should be afraid of is doing absolutely nothing. Because if you don't do anything, you're just going to do exactly what you're doing right now, which is doing nothing. You're just stuck in the 9 to 5. You hate your life. You don't have any goals. You don't know how to get to your goals. And the only real thing you're looking forward to is every single Friday you can go out and get so freaking drunk with your mates that in the end, you hate yourself for doing the next morning because you are hangover. So... I know I've been talking a lot right now, but it's like what I just saw was another guy who got extremely, extremely, he got so overwhelmed that we had so many packages where I'm like, bro, this is nothing. Like there's brands out there doing a thousand packages a day, 10,000 a day. We might come with 10, let's say 10. It's not that big of a deal. 
but it's like your your brain don't know what's possible and you're too afraid of actually telling yourself what's possible because you are brainwashed and because you have this limited mindset. So if you're watching this and you're one of them and you're one of those people where you want to get out of your life but you don't know how to do it, the worst thing you can do is doing what you're doing right now, which is doing absolutely nothing. So um, yeah, that's just a bit of a car talk, but um, hopefully somebody got some value. Um, I'm gonna jump home, get some dinner, and then uh, I'll catch you guys when I'm at the computer again. Back home after a decent two hours in the warehouse, just started up the PC. So plan of action now is really just get this food down. It's basically chicken, hot sauce, pin, some nuts and just some vegetables, I believe. So um, I'm gonna eat this. Then I am having Facebook ads set up. I need to set up a bed. I'll tell you guys more about that. Um, and uh, then I need to make sure that the Snapchat ads got verified. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the game plan for the rest of the night. Currently it is 8 a.m. as you can see. So um, yeah, stay tuned guys. So I just got done setting up <clears throat> the bed for this team. So to those of you that don't know, I also do a bit of sports betting. Actually, it's one of my my businesses, so to say. Um, and to just explain it really, really quickly, it's basically just a way of taking, um, essentially making the bonuses that people get in Denmark for signing up into guaranteed profit. Um, so that's pretty much what we do. So I'll just quickly flip the screen around and you can essentially see how it uh, how it looks and what the revenue is going to be. This is um, the team that I have just set up today. Um, you can see it right here. So this is um, essentially the revenue for the first bed, um, going to be around 27,000 Danish crowns. Um, so yeah. Pretty, pretty decent and um, now I'm just getting all the members that are on this team to essentially place the bets and then we can uh, yeah get the ball rolling this business model I've been doing for a bit of a time now um, it's extremely extremely profitable extremely extremely easy and um, it's something that is just giving you instant profit instant money um so yeah there's really easy ways to make money there's also hard ways to make money this is one of the easiest ways so um yeah it just shows that there's so many ways of making money online that if you're not making money online it's more or less your own fault in my opinion so um yeah just about taking the advantage of all the opportunities that are out there guys so the house is sleeping um time is currently I believe it's 12, I believe so. So just got done with Snapchat ads, um, new ads for my e-com brand and um, the bed with the team. So now I am going to jump in bed. That's um, pretty much average day in my life. Um, wanna say thank you if you have watched till the end and um, hopefully this video was funny, exciting, whatever, insightful. Um, let me know down in the comments what you want to see in the next one. And also let me know if you like these types of videos or you just want me to stick to the original ones with the setup here. But nonetheless, I'm a jump in bed now. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.